Hello, hello, AutoCAD family. AutoCAD 2019 has been officially released and recent changes have made easier than ever before to acquire the software completely free. So today I'll show you how to get a full version of AutoCAD 2019. But what you will see here also applies to other Autodesk software. This is EasyCAD for you, and remember to like and share the video. Our first step is to navigate to Autodesk's website. Go to autodesk.com, and once you're here, scroll down to locate the section Support and Learning. Then, right in the middle, click on Students and Educators. It will redirect us to the Education Community side. Now, let me go back and I'll show you another option to get here faster. Once you're on the main Autodesk website, click on the menu on the top hand right corner and then click on Downloads and finally on Free Student Software. You can see the option to download many different software directly from Autodesk. The beauty of this is that we will get full versions with no limitations whatsoever compared to the ones used for production or professional purposes. Now we will click on AutoCAD and it will take you to the download page. Before downloading, however, you need either to log in or create an account with Autodesk. Login in is easy if you have an account, but if you don't, go ahead and create one and I'll show you how. The first requirement is to enter, as you see, your country. In my case, I'll use the United States, but unfortunately, not all countries are available. Then you will specify your role, either a student, educator, IT administrator, or design competition mentor. I think student is much better because you can use either your own information or someone else's information, like for example, one of your family members. Our next step is to enter date of birth. So go ahead and select it and click next. Now we enter our personal information like name, last name, email address, and a password which should comply with the security standards. The system will tell you whether uh, your email has already been used. Make sure after that to agree to the terms and conditions at the bottom. And now after you click create account, this is what we get. Just make sure to verify the account through your email and then just sign in to your newly created Autodesk account. Once you're signed in, it'll take you straight to the download page, but if it doesn't, just locate again the free software tab and select again AutoCAD to download. As you can see, when we select it, it asks for the version you want to download. I'll select 2019 from the drop down menu, but you can also download previous versions as you can see here. Then it will ask for the operating system and finally for the language. Immediately we have our license information on the screen. Next, Autodesk will send an email to the email you use uh, for registration with the activation code. If you are required, just verify the information through the email. Please keep this information available as it contains your license info and more importantly, your activation code. Now, back on the page, the next step is to click on the red button that reads Install Now. As you can see, it will now pop the Autodesk License and Service Agreement. Click to accept the license terms and then click on Install so it will download the installer. Keep the window open until it finishes and then do as if it was any other installation. Save the file, then run the application. Within seconds, the actual download of the software will pop up and it will start downloading AutoCAD 2019. Depending on the internet connection you have, it might take a little bit. Then you will get to select what to install, if the complete package or some tools and utilities that you can specify on the left. I will click on the install button on the right since I want the whole package. Now, 
the system again gives you the option of deselecting something here maybe let's say you don't want the Autodesk recap but I want uh, to have it also confirm to install the program depending on your internet speed it could take a few minutes or a long time to download especially because it's about five gigabytes to download here you might want to do something else while it downloads in my system it will take about one and a half hours so don't desperate and definitely this will test your patience after it's done you'll see all it was installed in your computer and you will have time to review now a pop-up to agree on Autodesk data collection and after checking all of the installation we will select to launch AutoCAD we can do it from the same button or directly from our desktop the software will initiate but since I have a previous version installed on my computer first AutoCAD is offering to migrate or import my custom settings from my 2017 version which is a very nice feature of course I will agree but you don't have to in case you want to start from scratch customizing your CAD which I don't recommend after launching AutoCAD 2019 for the first time you will have the complete package with everything included before the student version used to be very limited but since 2015 I guess it has been provided as a full version so you can see this is our home page we can visit the start tab to explore what's new it is divided into sections learn and create on the top portion of our drawing you can see that we're using the student version and the most exciting thing about this is that it's fully functional while being free uh, what i mean by fully functional is that it doesn't have any watermarks or any other restrictions uh, within your projects compared to the production versions uh, well guys this is all for today uh, all i hope is that you enjoy your autocad 2019 if you need to learn how to use it remember please visit my channel and again uh, go ahead and like the video feel free also to share and give your feedback and should you have any questions please post them and i'll do my best to help you out i also hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time